Hey, what's up, YouTube? So Persona 5 Royale is filled with many references from other forms of media, such as video games, movies, and anime. So I thought I'd list a whole bunch of them in today's video and share it with you guys. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Sonic the Hedgehog reference. You can buy an item called Sonic Socks on the television program on Sunday. I forget which specific day it was, but judging by the item's name and description, you can tell this is paying homage to Sonic the Hedgehog himself. Pokemon References At some point in the game, Joker has the option to respond to Morgana with Morgana, I choose you. The funny thing about that line is that yes, it is a reference to Pokemon, but also Morgana's Japanese voice actor is Pikachu's voice actor as well. When hanging out with Futaba at Akibara, a crowd of shoppers will appear to separate the both of you. She will eventually find Joker and make a subtle Pokemon reference by saying, A wild Joker appeared. While fulfilling Futaba's promises, Futaba will call Joker and tell him that Mishima is practically the first gym leader. Metal Gear Solid When holding up a shadow in combat, there are times where Joker will be able to respond with, I heard love can bloom on the battlefield. Don't you think that's possible? This is a famous line from the Metal Gear Solid series. I want to ask you, do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. Shido's final shadow form references Senator Armstrong from Metal Gear Rising, who is another senator who is wearing glasses, a dress suit, and is a politician who transforms into a giant shirtless man in dress pants, with of course the giant muscles and everything. And this scene is even capitalized upon in the Royale version of the game, where Joker and Armstrong actually go head to head, one on one, 1v1 with each other, just like Raiden and Armstrong did. Too bad we just didn't get that one scene though, we could have had Joker just punching Armstrong in the gut several times. Dragon Ball Z references. When Yusuke rearranges Futaba's featherman figurines, he actually makes them do the Ginyu Force poses from Dragon Ball Z. There is also a Dragon Ball Z reference found in another teacher's lecture as well. During a fusion alarm and pay close attention to the dance that Caroline and Justine are doing, one of their dance moves is literally the fusion dance from Dragon Ball. So, um, whenever Joker is worn out of training, he will lay on the floor defeated. Now, the reason I said defeated is because he is actually doing the Yamcha pose. PlayStation Reference When Joker helps Futaba finish up her list of promises, Futaba will break the fourth wall and say that she got the Platinum Trophy, even expecting the trophy notification to pop up in the upper right-hand corner of her room. So, um, shout out to PlayStation, I guess. Catherine References Futaba ends up buying a figurine in Akibara all by herself. The figurine she purchased is none other than Catherine from, well, you know, the Catherine game. Also, in the darts and billiards location, there's a sheep design here as well. Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse Futaba's shadow design, or her clothing design, seems to be based off Cleopatra's outfit, which is a demon in Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse, and now recently seen in Shin Megami Tensei 5 as well. So even though they're based off the same figure, you can see the similarities within their outfits, considering that this is Atlas, by the way. Even though Cleopatra is referenced as a part of the Megaton series, she has not made an appearance in any of the Persona games yet, not yet at least. Fist of the North Star Makoto and Ryuji's team attack is actually a reference to Fist of the North Star, with Makoto imitating Kenshiro's star punches. Makoto's Fist of Justice line could be a reference to the comic book Fist of Justice. In the Japanese version of the game, when the team starts suggesting a codename for Makoto after she summons her persona, Ryuji suggests that we nickname Conqueror of the Century's End. But this was changed to Miss Post-Apocalyptic Rider in the localization, which is Roa's title in Fist of the North Star. Yakuza Like a Dragon During the summer vacation on July 28th, Makoto will invite Joker to go watch a movie together at the theaters. The name of this movie is called Like a Dragon, which is a reference to Sega's most recent Yakuza game known as Yakuza Like a Dragon. <laughs> it could also be a follow-up sequel to Trials of the Dragon, the same movie series that Chie Satsunaka is a fan of. Also, the name Like a Dragon, I believe is the same title as Chie's character theme song in Persona 4 Arena. Death Note, I'm pretty sure you guys already know about this one, but Futaba's Strange Sitting Positions is a reference to Detective L from the Death Note anime. 
Goro Akechi's character is heavily influenced by Light Yagami, and at one point, he does mention that he always buys an apple for lunch, which is a reference to Light Yagami feeding apples to Ryuk. Just Sega. If you look up at the building with all the vending machines, you'll see the name Club Sega, since Atlas is a part of Sega ever since November 2013, where Atlas joined the Sega Dream Corporation team, and was established on September of 2013. Forest. At the Yongin Theater, there is a movie poster called Forest Hunt that looks eerily similar to the movie Forest. Star Force. Once you get your hands on the retro game system, you'll have access to a variety of retro games. One of the games is called Star Fornius. This is a reference to the game Star Force, a vertical scrolling shooter game on the NES. Also, the name Star Fornius is kinda, you know, the demon's name as well, from Shimigami Tensei or the Persona as well. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. There is a Jojo reference when answering one of the teacher's questions in class, with one of the answers being the world, which is Dio's famous line. Kamen Rider. Makoto's outfit is literally a Kamen Rider reference, specifically the Showa period riders from Kamen Rider. Mad Max the movie. One of Ryuji's guns is called Mad Maximum as well. Tron's Legacy. Futaba's Phantom Thief outfit, her bodysuit, is a reference to Tron Legacy. Splatoon. Futaba's casual winter appearance is heavily inspired by the female Inkling girl in Splatoon. Her t-shirt even has an ink splat on it in the front. When Sojiro confronts Joker and Futaba about the Phantom Thieves, Morgana will say, The chief really did have an Inkling all along. Inkling, as in an Inkling kid. While in Mementos, Futaba will mention her interest in getting a paintball gun, since Atlas developers realize just how much she looks like the Splatoon character. So there's a nod to that. I want a new model gun. They just get me all fired up. A new toy is all it takes to reach the hearts of men. I'm not quite in favor of having guns in real life. Yeah, I want one that shoots paintballs! In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, they later doubled down on this meme as well, with one of the spirit battles featuring Futaba or a Futaba spirit, and your opponent is none other than the Inkling girl herself. Pac-Man. Futaba's laptop stickers is a reference to Pac-Man, with one row being squid-like versions of the Pac-Man ghost, and another being an alien from Space Invaders. Gundam. Masayoshi Shiro's shadow is a reference to Char Anzabel from the Mobile Suit Gundam show. Star Wars. Haru's father's shadow outfit is a cross between Darth Vader, Doctor Doom, and Buzz Lightyear, and the shadow minions take the form of mini Death Stars. Lupin the Third. So the character Chihaya Mifune resembles the character Linda in Lupin the Third. Futaba's father Sojiro Sakura resembles the thief Daisuke Jigen. During An Takamaki's Confidant Rank 3, An mentions that she used to watch an anime about a female thief, and we believe she is referencing the female thief Fujiko Mine from Lupin the Third. Berserk. Akechi's black mask outfit greatly resembles a berserker armor, just like the wolf armor that Guts wears in Berserk. The Pink Panther. An Takamaki's Phantom Thief codename is a reference to the Pink Panther, since in the Pink Panther, valuable diamonds would have to be protected or else they would be stolen by a gentleman thief, which is why An makes this reference a lot more clear when she pitches the name for the Phantom Thieves as the Diamonds when naming the Phantom Thieves group. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Yeah, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I got it! I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see... How about the diamonds? I'm getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Sailor Moon. Kasumi's Persona Awakening is a shot-by-shot -shot reference to the iconic transformation sequences in Sailor Moon. Kaito Kids Anime. The Phantom Thief logo that Ryuji draws in the first calling card is a callback to Kaito Kids' iconic symbol, who is also a Phantom Thief himself. 
Kamen Rider. So when Morgana transforms into a cat bus for the first time, Morgana strikes a Kamen Rider transformation pose and shouts out transform. Lord of the Rings. When Kamoshita's crown is knocked off, he'll yell, my precious, just like Gollum. Disney references. A class question will ask you to identify the pirate Captain Kidd, and the incorrect responses include Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Also, Destinyland is a parody to Tokyo Disneyland. Transformers. When Kaneshiro summons his Piggytron, he says, let's roll out, just like the famous line of Optimus Prime. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So Futaba actually makes subtle references to Link's fairy partner, where sometimes Futaba will straight out say, hey, listen. Hey. Also, Futaba's Japanese codename is also Navi, as in Navi for Navigator. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. If Futaba's invitation to Nakano isn't immediately accepted, the next day she'll send an additional text message to Joker, saying, Dawn of the Final Day. This is obviously a reference to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask in the moon's final hours before it crashes down to Termina. Super Smash Bros. In the Casino Palace before you do the battles, Futaba mentions that it's like the whole new challenger approaching in Super Smash Bros. So this is an inside joke to Joker's English voice actor by the way, Xander Mobis, who also voices the announcer in the Super Smash Bros. games. In a roar, a Joker. I guess you can say that Joker was always in Smash Bros. ever since the start. Portal. Before Joker cleans up Futaba's room, one of the books has the Aperture Science logo from Portal. Danganronpa. One of the prizes in the crane machines is a black and white bear, and Morgana even comments that he has the feeling that he's seen it before, which of course is Monokuma from Danganronpa. One Piece. One of the game's items is called a devil fruit. Food Wars. During Futaba's Christmas scene in Royale, she mentions that the cake is tasty enough that if you were in your own cooking anime, this cake would be blasting people's clothes off. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. When Futaba plays a pair in Tycoon, she will sometimes say, Shall I give you this pair? Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Shall I give you this pair? Which is a reference to Sephiroth's line, Shall I give you this pair when speaking to Cloud. Though it does sound like, Shall I give you this pair? Shall I give you despair? Shall I give you this pair? Wizard of Oz. The chorus for the song Rivers in the Desert mentions a heartbeat for a tin man. And when infiltrating the mysterious palace on January the 2nd, the palace ruler speaks to Joker through a loudspeaker. Akechi calls it a big voice behind the curtain act, which is a reference to the witch and the man pulling the strings in the Wizard of Oz. We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? And guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for all these references and media found in Persona. There's a bunch of them, and I don't think I've got them all, but yeah, what did you guys think about all this stuff? Were there some stuff you didn't know about, or are you barely learning some of them today? But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys on the next upload. Take care.